Hello and welcome to my channel, Hardware AI. The main topic of this video is going to be SLAM with ROS. We'll use Beetle, an agile quadruped robot from Petoy that finished their Kickstarter campaign last month with huge success. First, let's start with some theory. But can we skip to fun parts? SLAM stands for Simultaneous Localization and Mapping. It is a set of algorithms that allows a computer to create a two-dimensional or three-dimensional map of space and determine its location on it. While by itself, SLAM is not navigation. Of course, having a map and knowing your position on it is a prerequisite for navigating from point A to point B. We can use various sensors to receive data about the environment that can be used for creating a map and finding our location in it. Laser scanners, one-dimensional and 2D sweeping laser rangefinders. Cameras, monocular, stereo and RGBD. Sonar sensors, tactile sensors and others. In practice, a lot of times a combination of sensors is used, and later a fusion algorithm is applied, for example, extended Kalman filter, to obtain precise information. If we come back to basics, for most of the applications, you'll be dealing with either LiDAR based SLAM or Visual SLAM. LiDAR based SLAM is relatively easy to set up and it is quite precise. There is a reason Waymo uses LiDARs on their self-driving car. But of course, there is a reason that Tesla doesn't. Lighters are bulky, quite expensive, and since they have rotating parts, which require maintenance when in operation for long periods of time. For visual slam, RGBD sensor approaches also can be quite robust, whereas simple stereo or monocular systems are tricky to set up. I'll leave some links in the video description so you can read about SLAM in more detail. For today's video, we'll use monocular visual SLAM algorithm called Orb SLAM 2 and a lighter based Hector SLAM. For Orb SLAM 2, we will use regular cheap web camera. It needs to be calibrated to determine the intrinsic parameters that are unique to each model of the camera. Read more about camera calibration in the accompanying article. There is a package integrating Orb SLAM 2 with ROS, which also publishes 2D occupancy map, which looks as similar to building floor plan. The installation process is quite complicated. I recommend to use Ubuntu 18.04 image for Raspberry Pi as the starting point to avoid the need for compiling many many, many, many additional packages. Once you have it, and packages for Beetle your, or your robot base, web camera drivers installed, you can run Beetle underscore robot underscore vslam dot launch file from my Beetle driver repository on GitHub. It will bring up the whole system, robot driver, web camera node and orb slam 2 node. Orb SLAM 2 requires enough information about the environment to initialize, so you can manually move the robot around to avoid large changes in translation or orientation. After Orb SLAM 2 is initialized, it will start publishing Octomap or Occupancy Map. You can use controls now to move your robot around. Unfortunately, I found that because the camera on Beetle moves too fast during turning, it tends to lose the key points and needs to return to its previous position. A couple of improvements that can be made to make it more stable is using a stereo camera. With Orb Slam 3, it is possible to integrate IMU data 
for more precise positioning. If Visual Slam didn't really work for our robot, how about installing LiDAR and trying out one of the laser scanner-based algorithms? Good news here is that for LiDAR, we wouldn't need as much processing speed, so we can use older Raspberry Pi 3 model, which fits nicely on Beetle. The bad news is that even a small LiDAR is big. The one I had at my disposal was RP LiDAR A1M8. It weighs about 1, 190 grams, which when mounted on top of this leg robot seriously disturbs its gravity center and influences the walking gait. After adding some additional weights to balance things out, it could crawl and walk, albeit I was still trying to be careful and avoid sudden stops. Software installation for Hector Slam is a breeze on Ubuntu 18.04. After it's installed, run beetle underscore robot underscore lslam dot launch file to bring up LiDAR, robot control and Hector Slam node. Overall, mapping results look much better than with Orb Slam 2. And Hector Slam can even publish odometry and pass messages, which open way for running autonomous navigation with ROS navigation stack. For improvements when using LiDAR on Beetle, or other robots for that matter, and IMU data also can be integrated, gait and balance algorithms can be tweaked to accommodate for additional weight on top of the robot, and also a more compact LiDAR can be used. This was the last video in series about Beetle, a robotic dog from Pitoy. Kickstarter campaign is over, so if you want to purchase your Beetle, stay tuned for pre-order announcement from Tinkergen, a Seed Studio subsidiary, which will sell Beetle both in their online shop and on Amazon. Have fun building robots, and I'll see you next time!